All right, let's build an Azorius control deck. And here's going to be my cute play is I'm going to try this really seemingly circumstantial counterspell. I'm really going to give this circumstantial counterspell a shot. Because I think it's just it just owns so much stuff in the meta. So let's do Teferi. Teferi. Narset. Now, I don't know how many Narsets I want. I don't know how many Narsets I want. <sighs> let's see here. Omen of the Sea, I actually think is just a fantastic card. Omen of the Sea plus Teferi Time Reveler helps so much. It counters ETB effects. Yeah, this is what's weird. Is that right now there's so many legendary companions, and there's so many strong triggered and activated abilities that like if an opponent plays Asian of Treachery, I don't counter the Asian of Treachery, and then I counter the take control of stuff effect. And let me actually do this before I forget. One, two, three, one, two. So, so this is this is sort of a, a brief starting shell to look at, which is hey, Narsets and fairies are really good. Let's try this Tales End. I think Omen of the Sea is really good. And Wind Condition, Castle Arden Vale is a perfectly acceptable Wind Condition. Now, the thing that's weird is historically we've seen like three copies, sometimes four in the main board of these kinds of decks. But we've just been seeing less and less and less and less and less and less and less of a need. Like, if there's a lot of elemental decks that are floating around, I might want a lot of these. If there are uh, a lot of Mardu Knights going wide, yeah, Shatter the Sky. Um, kind of thing aronies. But I, I, I increasingly i am just like, do we fucking need that many Shatter the Skies? Do we need that many? I, I don't actually think so. I don't actually think so. God, Yorian is just a beater, isn't he? Yorian is just a damn beater. Well, we're gonna need some number of dream trawlers. Trawler. Well, let's put it. Let's start with a pair. Conquers death. Oops, conquers. I don't know how to put the apostrophe in there. Let's start with a pair. Now, if I'm being a proper boy, we definitely want some number of essence scatter. Let's do the new essence scatter art. And disputes. Now let's put in three of them. Dovin's veto is fine. <sighs> Omen of the sea. Yeah, I mean, like, part of me is like, dude, why don't I just make a Yorian Azorius control deck? Why don't I just make a Yorian Azorius control deck? And the reason is because I'm an adult and I play magic like a proper human. Um, okay, let's go ahead and put in the shark tafe. I'm going to start with three. Three seems like the right amount uh, for a general starting point. Um, yeah, but you play Teferi. That's right. I'm not, I'm not unaware that I'm an asshole. It is so hard for me to think of making a deck 
that is a control deck without just smashing Yorian in there. You know what I mean? It's hard. It's hard. Yeah, Essence Scatter is actually fine to have uh, some small number of uh, in the main deck because what are the decks that are strong? Companion decks, boom, we have a target for Essence Scatter. And companion decks that are built around Agent of Treachery, bam, we got that shit. I mean, yeah, well, I, I, am, I am light as hell against the anti, or against the aggro buddies. The aggro boss. I want to do this. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't this deck just be better if I just four of everything and putting Yorian? <laughs> let me let me look something up. Yep, yep, yep. I want to save this. Didn't I have another Azorius deck that I? This is the one I was just doing. Woo! Our memory doesn't serve us well. I, I feel like I saw an Azorius control deck a wee bit, a wee bit ways back. Alright. I deleted it. I mean, I know I, del I deleted something. It, th the thing I deleted was not the deck that I was referring to, but I, I think I must have That was easy. No, no, yeah, I know that I deleted an Azorius deck. That's not not the deck to which I'm referring though. Single targets seem nice. Do I even want absorbs? I mean, this this is the this is the a very traditional like yeah no, I, should, my, I should always have this one in here and it's good. I think I might even want just to go for the four dream trawlers. Like with four dream trawlers, I'm just always getting a dream trawler out early, and then I think maybe one more shatter is fine. Paranarsis might look weird, but it's actually fine because she she does struggle versus. Some things. If I tried to put in a couple of glass caskets. Oh yeah, I'm done. I might actually do like this. Like a pair of absorbs looks quite weird. Seems okay. Shatter.
Here's actually what I like more. Birth of Miletus is fine to not run. I mean, like a lot of decks, even the 80, 80 card decks are just running like two or three. We, we could do something like this, right? Where we just run a little bit. This is kind of our bit of our aggro insurance. Some of these numbers feel a little weird to me, but I think two absorbs is fine because I'm trying to run the pair of tails ends because it's interesting to me. This might actually still be too many. Okay, so we kind of have our some of the tech choices against the big bad kitty cats. Uh, what would be in our side then? Um, I'm gonna do traditional. One of these and uh, commence the end game. Uncounterable card draw. I don't know if I actually have enough draw, but we might actually be just fine. Okay, let's, let's do some land. Okay, so then we have a Enlightenment, which is maybe my favorite art in the set. I just think this is beautiful. Hallowed. How the hell do I want to do this? And we're gonna have a lot of planes anyways. You know what, just hit me with the land. Check, 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 check. A blast zone seems good. Bunch of islands seem good. Is it ever worth running the triumphs in two color decks just for cycling? I think I think it is sometimes worth doing that. I am very leery of having anything that enters into play not tapped. Three dream trawlers might be too much, but again, the thing that I was inspired by is that we were playing with an. Uh, Esper Planeswalkers deck that was going for Tails End, and I thought Tails End was actually really nice. I, I was really, really amazed at how well it, it ran. So that's that's really that's really the entire inspiration for this deck. It needs four Tails End. It has four Tails Ends, Lloyd Smith. It has it. We have it. We have it, Lloyd! Dude, I cannot believe how much better my legs feel since I switched chairs. Isn't that right, Share Bear? Hi, Cheryl. Oh, we're tired, huh? Fuck, I love that cat, man. That cat is awesome. Lloyd says, sweet. Thunder X Boy says, I'm honestly terrified that we've left home without devout decrees. I have some class caskets of glass, and you know, I think maybe I should have done four devout decrees instead of four glass caskets. I think my brain is yorining a little hard. Blade GL says, as you mentioned, uh, maybe you don't need the Shire in this meta. Is there merit to running a, re a Realm Cloak Giant because it's still Sweeper and can double as a threat? Um... Typically, I will just say it is impossible to run the Realm Cloaked Giant creature ever. <laughs> you can't do it. You can't do it. Um, it, it I, I have tried for most of my adult life to cast a Realm Cloaked Giant, and it's never happened. So, get, getting handy uh, with it, you know. What, what do we think about the dandy handiness? 
I don't think good things about the dandy handiness because it's a five mana clear the board with conditions as opposed to a four mana clear the board guarantee. Slaves. I recently ordered a ton of books, and though it's not usually my thing, I got book one of the Dresden Files. And I'm looking forward to giving it a try. Man, I can't wait to hear how you... How you and what you do think of it. This is the omen of the sea. The sea. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Fart Slave is a great name. It's really good. It's what I might describe as an eye-opener and a head-turner. I don't think we need all the dream trawlers that the world has ever decided to produce. I think just, w like, one or two is good. Tin Fox Book 2 of the Dresden Files is typically considered the weakest, but I mean, I still think it's great out of 8. I feel like a shark typhoon. I have to respond to this work thing, yeah. Do, 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 do. All right. I gotta, I gotta adjust my sleep schedule, man, because in 10 days I will be casting the Team Liquid Star League 5 matches. Five! Team Liquid Star League 5. Yes, that's right. TL5. And the cast begins at 5 a.m. my time. <laughs> ah! Oh! Welcome to 2010 Esports Day 9. When does it start? When we say it starts. Yes, mistress. <coughs> My shark's bigger than your shark. Oh, that's a bit of a pickle. All right. I shouldn't have played that. I should have played one of these. That way I can make tokens. Nope. I wish I wish to do nothing. Cons Pap says, hey Sean, great to see you streaming. I've had a panic attack last week. Oh no! Dude, emotional stress in your stream and your VODs really helped me relax and calm down. Yeah, I'm thrilled to hear that. Feeling much better already and your vids helped me a lot. Thanks for that and game on. Yeah. Yeah, man, I've, I've had some real uh, panicky, stressy moments myself. In the greatest time, quarantine. And by greatest, I mean it's horrible. I think we let that go. Oh, Jeff Hoagland, kindly hosting us for 1,194 members of Hoaglandia. Hold on to your hats. Hey, Jeff. We're trying to make Azorius control work. Dude, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I am into Tail's End. That's it. I am into Tail's End. <gasps> yes! More counter spells, huh? Now, I have a question. Does my opponent run counter spells?
Three mana up. Too many options. Byzantine Pundit is cracking in half. Pay two. Declination commencing. Vance from Bob Vance Refrigeration. Says, imagine this. It's BlizzCon 2013. You're at the Annabelle Hotel for the Game Breaker TV pre-con party. An older lady comes up to you and asks you to sign the Day 9 TV caster trading card. You give her the sexy eyes and sign the card happily. That was my mother. Thanks for the card, though. Oh, man, Vance. I hope your mom's been doing well. Say hi to your mother for me. <laughs> Say hi to your fucking mother for me. Hope your mom's doing well. Warm thoughts being sent in the direction of your mom. Pass along my well wishes to your mother. Do I want to pay stuff with Thassa? Do I want to pay stuff with Thatha? What do you think? I really, really hope your mother's been well, Vance. God, really hope she's doing well. Um, McKinney Star says, okay, real question. How many times have you seen The Office through, if at all? Uh, twice. I'd say twice. Recently, I went all the way through. Is Dan into cougars? Uh, no, but I am into kittens. As this little sweetheart knows. Get out of here! Yeah, I find talking about a lot of my little stress out. I'm, I think I'm freaking out. No, talking about that, it, just, it like it helps. It helps a lot for me, at least. <sighs> like I really miss my routine, man. I really miss going to the coffee shop and getting coffee that I don't need to get because I have plenty of coffee at home. I miss saying hi to those baristas. I miss going to the gym and seeing the people that I've never spoken to once in my life who just go to the gym at the same time as me. I miss that, man. I miss that shit. And it fucks with me. You know? So now that our upcoming turn is upcoming, we can probably get our little DT out. Foggy Rocks has recently cut out caffeine on Monday 5 to me now. Yeah, if you want me to kill you, man, you got it. I'll just stab you to death myself. Okay, do I do I have too many Dween Twalas? I am going to do this right now. Because I can get a second Elspeth Conqueror's Death to eat Uro. This seems okay. This, I mean, this is, a, this is a problem. Is Tiger King really that good? I've heard so many mixed things. I, I, I didn't like it. I didn't like it very much. I would describe it as, it's like a train wreck you can't stop watching. And when you get to the end, you are reminded, oh yeah, I was watching a fucking train wreck. I, I don't know, I just didn't I didn't like that feeling. At the end, like I, I'm gonna spoil the ending without really spoiling it, but I'm gonna spoil it without spoiling it. The ending of Tiger King is all these people that were crazy and who you thought were assholes. They are. The end. I just did not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. 
Yeah, I just didn't like that. Oh, yeah, I don't know. It just, th there are, uh, how do I describe it? There are people I know that behave crazy. Oh my God, have you heard what she did? She's crazy. Crazy. Oh my god. And I I don't know, I find the word crazy to be just so dismissive. You know? I There are people I know that like, yeah, they're behaving crazy because they maybe couldn't find ways to deal with their stress. Or they had anger towards someone and they were never taught any tools to deal with that. Because that's like a really bad, gross, nasty feeling. And for someone who has gotten themselves in a rough spot. I don't know, it just doesn't it doesn't bring me joy, the idea that I'm looking at someone who's had a hard time and I'm like, ah, it's entertainment, you know. Because I'll, I'll distinguish between someone doing something dumb and the spectacle of it, but then it's over, you know. Like, I mean, frankly, if someone... Do I double block this? I think I might. Maybe I don't. Maybe I just accept it. Maybe I just shouldn't have done that Shark Typhoon. This helps lots. Oodles and oodles and oodles and oodles. Yeah, I mean, like, for instance, let's say someone is a little drunk and they're making an ass out of themselves. There's a sort of like a quiet, they won't be drunk forever. <laughs> you know, you're just... Well, I sort of understand the beginning, the middle, and the end of this. Do I want more mana? I, I, weirdly, I think I do here. I'm feeling like constantly cramped for mana. You know, like, I understand that people make errors. I understand that people make mistakes. Frankly, I think a lot of the mistakes I make here are pretty funny and pretty laugh-worthy. And I feel like there's almost a camaraderie in someone making a mistake or getting dumped and, like, just, what? Oh, God, you can tell they just, like, are having... They're losing their mind for a moment, and you know that in a few hours they're actually going to be okay and be like, oh, God, I just shouldn't have done that. And you're going, oh, dude, it's okay. It happens to everyone, man. <laughs> like, but I don't know. The uh, Tiger King just felt like, look at these people that just have... Hardly my worst defeat. ...who are being awful to each other, and that's it. They're just awful to each other, and it's awful. The end. This is a next level play here. This is the most next level of a play that I've ever done. was so sick. Look at that play. The reasoning that this play is quite good is that Byzantine Pundit has seven mana available and therefore would want to cast this and then cast this again. And if our opponent paid the Mystic Dispute mana, our opponent would be unable to earn. Mm, that was really good. You love 
love to see it. We might have to go to that Gruel Fires of Invention Kahira deck, because that one is fucking funny. I feel like a smart person. Dude, how, how set up was that Mystic Dispute on the Shark Typhoon? I mean, that is some... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. Well, that's one that's going to get cut post-board. Dawn of Wars 762 says, If I wanted to catch up on the modern styles of play for StarCraft 2 before watching TSL 5, do you have any recommendations on places I should go for content? Well, let me tell you what I'm doing, man. <laughs> I would, uh... I would watch the GSL. Currently in the midst of the round of 16. I need to save this. Also, by the way, you can counter the untap effect <laughs> for the Wilderness Reclamation. I need coffee, man. I'm fucking tired. I'm tired, man. I've had, this is my third cup today. I need like five, six. So this is how you, Sean. Is everyone safe? Well, my, uh, my loved one who... Testing with coronavirus is weird in the States because you can't just get testing everywhere. And, uh, this person was... That's fine. Was told by a doctor that they almost certainly have coronavirus and can't get tested right now and to hold off on it. Uh, or to, to hold off on going out of the house and all this. And then the said person was able to get a test. And the doctor called and said, look, um, we believe you certainly, or your test results showed up negative, but we believe you certainly do have coronavirus. We believe that it is a false negative. I'm like, the fuck is this? <laughs> like, Alright. Um, how does that even work? Um, the short answer is the tests are not very accurate because they've been rushed. Um, uh, but the good news is said loved one's symptoms have been waning. And I've already had family members who've gotten the test, tested positive, were sick as fuck, and now we're fine. So here is what I wish to do. I wish to do this first, because this is either an expansion explosion, or this is some sort of counter spell. So next turn we will swing for 13. Our opponent will be... That's fine. We, l we let this... Well, is this fine? This is the better one to counter. Because if our opponent had a second counter, our opponent could then just counter the absorb again. But now that I have a stack of things... What I lose is the three health. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's very difficult for an expansion explosion to kill someone. But yeah, though that period that whole period was stressful. The whole period was stressful, but people I know seem to be okay now. It was good. 
snow. Look at that. Okay. We might just get milled, actually. Because this is 4, 5, and then this is 5, 5, 10, 15, 16, 18. Okay, well, we can't quite get milled. So this is 90% chance an expansion explosion, just due to the sheer lack of expansion explosions and the fact this card's been loitering for a little bit of time. Um, I think maybe I... Because you saw me hesitate a little bit when I saw the uh, Wilderness Reclamation. I was like, yeah, I think, I think I needed to let the Wilderness Reclamation resolve. I think that was correct. Letting the Wilderness Reclamation resolve was correct. I would love to see just pass. That'd be, like, so funny. The good news is that the Dream Trawlers gain us infinite health. But the funny, the funny slash bad news is that Byzantine Pundit must choose either Byzantine Pundit to draw or must choose me to draw. So doing an expansion explosion for the full amount might actually be quite risky. Like, maybe just pinging me for some substantial amount, assuming a second explosion is coming... And then to set up for that. I think I've used both of my vetoes. I haven't. That's good news. I think it is good to just be checking for juicy bits. a good one. It's a good one as any. Now, if there is no counter spell in this, it means that Byzantine has a bit of a pickle. Negate, negate is in the bin. The deck runs two negates, two essence scatters, if I recall correctly. Two negates, two essence scatters, and um, occasionally like a trio of mystic disputes. The best intervention is another one that shows up somewhat commonly. So we might get Thaisid. Dead Thais. And how many Omen of the Seas do we have? Looks like there's three in the bin, so we have we have one lurking in the shadows here. What we want is for Athas's intervention to come down for enough mana that our opponent must then. Ugh. So that our opponent must then um, not have enough mana for another Thassa's intervention, right? Our opponent has to Thassa's for three, leaving two mana available. And then what I can do is I can use the Temple of Enlightenment. Very nice play. Very nice play from Byzantine Prophet. All right, we win. Byzantine... This is Byzantine Pro. Byzantine Pine play this exceptionally, exceptionally well. Longer. Stand by and watch. I bounce that. Each Dream Trawler gets buffed by two. One from the Teferi, one from the other dude. And then we beat his face. Ooh. The Burfa. The Burfa Miletus.
actually think I kind of like this. I think I kind of like this. Uh, it might be better to just cut these and put in the Uro. That's actually probably better. I don't think we... Oops. All right, restroom time. I think this is correct. Elspeth Conquers Death can eliminate the enchantments. Tail's End eliminates, like, the end of turn untap effect and the Uro. I think this is good. I have to use restroom emergency badly. Everything in life is an emergency if you take yourself too seriously. I didn't dry my hands. I, there's no reason for me not to dry my hands. Hold on. <laughs> Come, on. Come on, me. Come on, Sheriff the cat. Keep on sleeping. Don't worry. Oh, my God. You love to see it. Oh, shit. I, I right-clicked, but I did it incorrectly. I must have released. I... Once I drew the Mystic Dispute, I was going to go, Ooh, we want to counter the turn two growth spiral. And it looks like we will have our wish. Okay. Lonely Physician says, What's been your favorite deck to play thus far in the meta? I liked that Super Friends deck that we were running. I liked that Super Friends deck that we were just running. That was a nice one. Enjoy passing the turn. You will love Day Nine TV. Have you tried the Boros Cycling deck? I did try it, Game It's On. The games felt very samey. I think it's a very powerful deck, and I find it like intellectually interesting. But I'm just not that interested in playing it because it's like, okay, turn one, cycle. Turn two, cycle, cycle. Turn three, play a three-one, cycle, and then cycle, and then cycle, cycle, and then cycle, 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 cycle. You know, <laughs> just like, what's the end game? What's the end game? I know it's it's it is it is edging one mana at a time. That's what it is. And what's the payoff? It's the audio designer who did Zenith's Flare. Donk. Binning an expansion explosion. Damn. Here's my nightmare. This gets countered. My opponent has a handful of counters. If I absorb this... I just don't want to let Wilderness Reclamation resolve. No, but then our, our opponent would have played Wilderness Reclamation last turn. So I, I've made a mistake. I've made a mistake. There's no end of turn spell that I'm scared of here. Can I ever have too many Teferis? I think not. So our opponent actually doesn't have a Wilderness Reclamation, because if they did, they would have last turn gone Wilderness Reclamation and then Mystic Dispute. So there's no Wilderness Reclamation, so I actually should have paid that. That's fine. Resolve. We win! We win! I mean, I don't know what you do now if you're Byzantine Pundit, man. There's no Uro in the bin. I mean, you can go Uro Uro. Alright, look, there's literally nothing that can happen on this turn. Maybe a very, very, very large shark. Okay. Got the read on the soul. On the whole soul. I 
I mean, this is, like, comically straightforward. Here's what's gonna happen. Wilderness Reclamation. Just gets played right now. An abandonment Wilderness Reclamation. That's the way it is. Time for plan B. As soon as okay. I think of one. This is actually so funny. I'll protect you. I'm known for my excellent timing. I've got it. Arkon has a handful of stuff they really can't do anything with. Great. Superb. Fantastic. We see no threats on the ground. This isn't doing anything right now. This is entering the battlefield soon. What I'm worried about is the shark. I think this is a, a better way to help guarantee that we can get Teferi back. Because, I mean, like, a Teferi out shits on a deck whose entire game plan is built around untapping at end of turn. So there was no shock. Call me a surprised man. Resolve. Because if I absorb it, then our opponent can just explosion for a large amount. I don't care if my opponent really draws right now, I don't think. I don't think that I care that much if this total bastard draws. I can make a token for five and then have almost enough mana up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I really want ten, don't I? That one seems like an okay one to counter. There's not much left that can be done with four mana. And we're basically spending one card to deny two cards. Spending one card to deny two cards feels feels good. Feels good. What what can be done with four mana that I'm missing? Maybe just a fastest intervention again. It's a lot of land. Quite good. It's quite good. Oh yeah, plus you. Here goes nothing. Minus you. Just the trick for this. this. C 
see what gets attacked. Let's do some end step stuff. fine. Seems totally fine. I mean, I literally don't know what could possibly be getting attempted here. Doesn't this resolve at the same time? Mind needs a rest. So, like, okay, good, 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 good. A well played game. All right, well, hope you've enjoyed this 24 hour stream where we played one Azorius Control best of three, and we did go 2 0. Oh, oh, shit. it did die. I think this is the change I wanted to make. Uh, what do we think about four dream trawlers, huh? I think three seems fine. I'm gonna put in one more absorb. Just I mean like it's just it just makes more sense as a control deck. I think, I think, I, I just don't think we need three trawlers. Let me refill on the cookie. We see someone with no companions, which means we're bound to win. Dexter D. Dresden 1408 says, Any tips for playing control? I really can't seem to wrap my head around it. I tend to be more aggro and big dumb dudes. Um, it, it takes... Uh, it, 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 I would just say it's a time investment thing. I would recommend you watch some videos of a good control player, and when you look at a turn, just think like, here is exactly what I would do. Here is the way I would play this out. And then you can start to see the differences. And then what winds up happening is you want, you just keep guessing effectively at what you think the right play is. And then you start to slowly adjust your internal benchmarks. To match. An Elspeth conquers death is what goes? The heck? That's that's the way that I 
would and have done it. All right, you got it. Okay, so this to me says, I, Pedro Mansu, have a Nissa. This to me says I have a Nissa. Because if our opponent had an Uro, one, our opponent would have played the Uro. Two, uh, our Essence Scatter deals with the Uro, so that would have been relatively straightforward to get rid of. Well, this is just a pickle, isn't it? Uh-oh. No, I am not making this up hmm. as I go. Quapsy dipsy. I think I also maybe have too many planes. Maybe, maybe. Maybe this is fine, though. Yeah, I know, I know this deck. This is a Sultai Ramp deck that also runs Polak Kranos. Allows us to draw into Mystic Dispute. I gotta stop tapping. I have like too much energy. I'm in too good of a mood, dude. Mood. Excellent. It is a good day for Teferi to not die. I really want another blue source. Eyes of Wednesday says, "What do you think about Unmoored Ego making a comeback? Playing in Plat in every game as an agent deck." Steel doesn't seem like a good card. It seems just as mediocre as it did before. Um, <laughs> I'm tired of SC2's and I don't forget to learn about Widow Mines. Yeah, Widow Mines that are like, well, the Widow Mine, uh, now it starts invisible until the first time it becomes visible, then every other unit's visibility changes until you get the upgrade, and then all prime number of units can see instead of all units. I mean, it's just like the rules of visibility are just so... <laughs> they're ever in flux. Let's see what Pedro Mansu does try to do. I told you there was a Nissa. So here's what we do. We omen of the sea in response to see if maybe we can go find something good. We have lost. Witness the ties that bind us all. No! Rise, my elemental friend. Let me just see what I have here because I just need to do this no matter what. Shock Typhoon. We 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 have the look and feel of a dead man. You just let me know if you're up for round two. Oh yes. Fight hard mm. without me. Be gone. I might have one land too many. One land too many. Because I have actually quite a lot of eyes. One land too many, maybe. So, let us... Okay. Shadow of the Sky is good here. Boy, that sure doesn't help us. No. 
So I think the Tales End and the Mystic Dispute seems good. Uh, the Births of Miletus does not necessarily seem necessary. the hard part. Maybe even cutting the shark cyclones, but I guess I want against a deck that's really trying to trying to draw a lot. I don't think I don't think we actually have any devout decree targets outside of strictly Polacronos. I think the the counters are going to be good. Tails end hits all the planeswalkers. Hits the hydroid crisis draw effect. Very good. Very 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 good. Superlatively awesome. We are going to be up against uh, a significant number of hand deletion. reason I'm not running Fabled Passage doesn't really help us do anything in this deck. And it's a, it's a liability for a deck like this that is hunting for the ability to um, cast spells on curve. Untapped mana is, like, is very dangerous, in other words. That should have been shocked in. Got it. infinitely many blue mana. Watch this sick end of turn 1-1 one, one that will win us the game, huh? This Oh, this end of turn 1-1 one, one is gonna be the bee's knees. It's gonna be the GG's of the bees. This is still fun. Scrying and drawn is something. Or excuse me. Healing and drawn is something I uh, support quite a bit. Okay, so we're gonna make we're gonna make the one one. Here he comes. <laughs> Commence action, baby guard. Yes, this is a human baby. Get in it, get in it to win it. Here it comes. Bing bong, bang. I like it, man. Ramp as you please. As I smash your knees with my baby's baby. Ooh. Oh, we got the Narsets. That seems pretty cool. Alright. Yeah! This is how we win! I still need to see Uncut Gems, which I hear is... Quite a fucking movie. Alright, now th th this is an increasingly difficult and challenging position to... Lose. Because I saw Good Time, which is the other Safety Brothers flick, and Good Time left me just stressed out. Ooh, Erdetti says, I gained 100 ELO in chess and 100 ELO in Battlegrounds today. Reward myself with a smoothie. What a day. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I feel like the world is actually a little too boring and calm right now, so I kind of want to watch Uncut Gems to really get myself strung out. Uh, 
guess what? Commence action, baby army. On guard with the baby guard. Oh, holy hand. Holy hand. Guess what? The baby guard is coming to town. Can't stop the babies. Tin Foxes, I killed six SCVs and a Reaper with one in depth and got her away without dying. That was my gaming highlight for the day. Watch out. Shadow Gamer 264 says, I got let go through text today. Time to job hunt. God, that. Fuck, I am sorry, man. And then they have to say something like, hey, did you get that text? The Essence Scatters are the lowest value card, the lowest value counter. All right, on guard, baby guard. Counter the counter. The counter, the counter, the counter. Yeah, I, I knew someone that got really, really mad at a uh, significant other and decided they'd had it. That it was time. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So I do this, it probably gets disputed, and that's okay. Very, very good. Commence action, baby guard. I, I I knew someone, this is a way long time ago. It was like right after college when college kids were on their own for the first time. This guy was in a relationship with this girl. And he just got really mad and he did something that you just shouldn't do when you're mad. He wrote an angry email ending things. And she doesn't check her email that often. So he kept being like, Hey, did you, uh... Did you get that email? <laughs> we want to do this because if we Elspeth conquers death, the Uro, we run the risk of being in a situation where we can Elspeth, and then if our opponent has a counter spell and they counter it, we have nothing we can do about it. Beware the baby guard! Ooh, yeah. Yeah, so, said buddy was in a situation where, like... <laughs> he's like, I need you to check your email. She's like, what? Do you want to go to a movie? Please, please check your email. Dude, just look, never, never send an angry email. Never send an angry email. And you know what, frankly, don't even send an angry text. If you want to be angry, call someone and just yell. Because the thing is that people get mad, that's normal. And sometimes you lose your mind a little bit, you're mad, and you just speak with a bit of a horse edge. It's just a bit horse. I feel like a good person. Let's see the Mystic Dispute in response, shall we? The Baby Guard will overcome. Why not pay three? Uh, because we're bad. Because we're fucking awful, that's why. Any other questions? Any other questions you guys got? Also, this this does help us commence the baby guard.
Look out, baby. The baby guard doth grow. It's baby time. That may, like, it may actually have been optimal to. It may have actually been optimal to uh, do the line I did anyways, but the error, as usual, is that I wasn't paying the fuck attention. Shark Typhoon! Alright, the baby guard is not going to let us down. The baby guard is going to bring us to sweet victory. With the power of babies. Look, everyone gets mad and yells and says something they don't mean, but if you just say the mean thing, say the incorrect, say the bad, say the venomous thing, 30 seconds later you can be like, I'm sorry, I just shouldn't have done that. And it's way easier to resolve that. If you write an angry email, that email is just as vicious the day you wrote it as it is a year from now. Don't, if you want to be mad, don't write an angry email. We might actually only need a pair of dream trolls. The baby guard might actually be sufficient. Yeah, arguing over text, man. Text argument? Now that is some absolute useless shit right there, man. Woo! Because, like, you're responding to the thing they wrote two texts back, and they're, like, still adding on things. Things are, like, out of order. think that our opening hand is gaseous. This opening hand is plasma, dude. That's, now we're cooking with plasma. <laughs> Die, Pedro Mansu. We have to switch to gruel for this evening, because I need games that last less than two hours. Here we go. Here it is. Off top. Uh-oh. Are we in trouble? Yes. Uh oh. Nice. Uh oh. That hand, it looked like it was plasma. Thought it was plasma. It's okay, though. We can still. We don't have access to the baby guard this game. I still think it's a little concerning for me. Never didn't have it, huh? Never, ever didn't have it. of war. I'm gonna go ahead and get the value now. What? You were supposed to play that last time. This sucks. I'm upset. The amount of BS that this is, is all of it. Alright, however, however, I, I do think I've learned a lesson. I think I actually just don't need this many Dream Trawlers. I think the Shark Typhoons... I can actually, like, increase the number of Shark Typhoons, or, like, cut this and put something smaller in. 
and actually just have more success because um, I, I think that the statement is the shark typhoons and the dream trawlers kind of function a little similarly. They kind of function a little similarly. I think I can actually also cut a planes. Is that right? No. Yeah, I think we are mostly blue. What? I'm at 24 lands? What did I do wrong? I was already at 25 lands. Okay. Gig, 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 gig.